St. Patrick was born 387 A.D. and died March 17, 461. He is the patron saint of Ireland and his feast day is March 17. His symbol is the shamrock, which he often used to explain the Holy Trinity. Though he was never officially canonized, early Christians declared him a saint in heaven. Patrick led a difficult life, but his faith in God never wavered. When he was a young teenager, he was kidnapped by Irish pirates and forced into slavery, which he later wrote drove him closer to God. He prayed often during his captivity, where he worked as a shepherd. He remained a slave until his early twenties when he received a dream from God telling him his freedom awaited. In the dream, he was led to the coast, so when he had a chance a few days later, he escaped and ran to the docks where he found a ship that took him safely to Britain. He was reunited with his family and continued his religious studies until he was ordained a bishop. In his memoir, The Confession, Patrick wrote of a vision he received in which a man came from Ireland. His name was Victorious, and he carried several letters, one of which was given to Patrick. The heading read, The Voice of the Irish. When he started to read, he imagined the voices of Ireland's people crying out to him, saying, We appeal to you, holy servant boy, to come and walk among us. The vision led him to spread the gospel of God in Ireland. Though there are many versions of what happened once he arrived, each confirms that Patrick was able to spread the word of God across Ireland and that he built many churches across the country. After spreading the good news throughout Ireland for 40 years, Patrick passed away at Saul, the first Irish church he built. <laughs>